All right, so this is what I got so far. Made some progress since the last video. Um, I'll just kind of go over a few details here. So, obviously the frame's done. You saw that in the previous video. I got my back wheels, my dual back wheels done. You can see them from here. I'll try to get a better angle for you guys. Let me zoom in and see. Basically what I did is I just took these couplers, or not couplers, but they're called bore hubs that fit on a three-quarter shaft, welded them to the end, welded two rims together, and then come down here, you can see what I got. Just a bolt going through. I lined up the keyways. I might use a keyway, but uh, I don't have any, and I have these hardened bolts. That's what I used. You can see I got my rear axle in. There's my little mini differential. My bearings. Those aren't mounted yet or anything. They're going to fit on that frame. You can see the little cutouts for it. I'll go over that here in a sec. Sprocket uh, brake. My brake disc is not mounted yet. I haven't decided exactly where it's going. Once I get the engine in there and the brakes mounted, that's when I'll figure out the final place for that. Let's go up to the front. So I needed a way to make the steering uh, rack and pinion pretty strong. So I added these, these steel plates. They're just quarter inch by two inch uh, flat stock bolted through and if you remember from the other videos there is a steel pipe inside that bottom piece of PVC. So those bolts are going through steel, PVC and then eventually the flat stock. Then I got angle iron mounted to that and then little tabs on there and then the steering rack. And you can see here my spindle on my little arms and I got this little this little L-shaped uh, tab on there to get my Ackerman correct and uh, my spindles little valve springs in there to, like a mini suspension got the idea off the DIY go-kart um, I guess it's been the idea has been floating around a while I've seen a lot of videos on it I got my wheels my bicycle wheels adapted for these spindles. That was a that was a process. I spent hours on the lathe making these little basically shims that go in there for the bearings. This is what I've come up with for the new engine cage. Uh, I just redesigned a little bit to try to save some weight on the steel on the back. So uh, that's my sketch up drawing. You can see the jack shaft um, back here. You know, that circle just represents the sprocket that you saw on the, the differential and, uh, you know, axle, whatever. So here's the actual frame. Um, these supports down here are for those um, bearings that you saw mounted on the axle, the green ones. You got three of those. Uh, that's my cage. And then I got this piece. Which mounts in there. Sorry, I'm working solo here. So that mounts in there, and the engine hangs from that. And get a little closer. It does have some adjustment in there, so I can, uh, you know, work with my chain tension and whatnot. And the jack shaft uh, pillow box bearings will go back here into those positions. So. I have three bearings there, but I also have, let's see if I can show you on the cart. There we go. Move this out. You can see I have a bearing in here. So basically it's a reducer bored out to fit this three-quarter inch um, bore flange bearing. And I have one on this side, I have one on the other side, and I also have one on this side and one on the other side of the PVC. So those bearings should help a little bit to distribute the weight because um, 
With this differential, it's very important to have support on both sides of the differential because uh, it's just an aluminum housing and there's, you know, it's not very strong. Once you get a lot of forces on here pulling with the engine and uh, bouncing and whatnot. So, so with my design, I came up with as many bearings as I could. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to last, but we'll see. So, that is it. Another back up here. It's looking pretty good. I have to. Oh, problem I have with the steering. Major problem. And I got a little anxious when I installed it. So, there's my steering. And if I take this and turn it right, the wheels. I can't see that. The wheels turn left. So basically, my attachment here is supposed to be up here. Well, I got a little anxious when I installed this, so I'm basically going to have to move the steering rack up in this area. Um, I can't flip the steering rack because you can see that that little spline shaft is angled towards the driver's seat. And if I flip it, it's going to be angled towards the front uh, right of the car in this opposite direction where I need it pointing. And I'd have to make new control arms because I don't think I can take these control arms off of this rack and pinion um, and flip them. So I'd have to cut them and start again. And that's not really an option. So I'm just going to move it to the right spot. So that's some work. To the next video. I haven't made very many videos, but if you check out DIY go karts, or you'll see the link in the bottom of this video or in the description. Uh, you'll see a build log and you'll see um, some details about, uh, just a few de details about what I've done. Uh, post some comments, please. Uh, I'm happy to ask, answer questions about this and share my views. At the end, uh, I've been making a list of things of uh, things that I, I noticed and come across while I was doing this. So, anyway, until next time, that's it.